Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Lesson 9. This is the last in this series of piano lessons. In this lesson, we'll learn the 12-bar blues progression, and we'll learn a new scale that can be used to improvise a solo over the blues. Then you can use what you've learned to play along with the band in the Play Song section of this lesson. Let's take a look at a very standard chord progression called the 12-bar blues. It's the basis for thousands of songs, and we'll learn it in a way that'll let you play it in any key. We'll start by playing the blues in the key of C. We already know the three chords that we'll need. C, F, and G. We can give these three chords numbers, which will help you play the progression in other keys. C is called the one chord, because it's built on the first note of the C scale. F is built on the fourth step of the scale, so we call it the four chord. And G, built on the fifth step, is called the five chord. By using this numeric approach to the chords, it's easy to remember chord progressions and then translate them into other keys. This blues progression is 12 measures, or bars, long. You can repeat the whole progression as many times as you want. The pattern goes like this. C for four bars, F for two bars, then back to C for two bars then G for one bar, F for one bar, and finish on C for two bars. And if you use numbers for naming the chords, the same progression can be described like this. The one chord for four bars, the four chord for two bars, back to the one chord for two bars, the five chord for a bar, the four chord for a bar, and then back to the one chord for two bars. Let's give it a try at a nice medium tempo. Play along with me. We'll hold each chord for four beats. One, two, three, four, C. 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 F. F. C. C. G. You know how to build a major scale starting on any note, and how to make a major chord. So now you can build a blues progression in any key. Just count up the notes of the scale and play major chords on the first, fourth, and fifth degrees of the scale. So far we've been playing chords in a basic way, with the root, third, and fifth, as either major or minor. Now let's add a fourth note, called the flat 7. This adds a completely new sound to the chord. To find the flat 7 for any chord, look at the note an octave above the root, then move a whole step down. For instance, adding the flat 7 to the C chord, we'll move an octave up to this C, and then a whole step down to B flat. Major chords with this type of 7 added are called dominant 7th chords. Here's what a C chord sounds like without the flat 7. And here's what it sounds like as a dominant 7th chord. To play dominant 7th chords in root position, start with your thumb on the root, C, first finger on the 3rd, E, third finger on the 5th, G, and fifth finger on the flat 7, B flat. Let's do the same thing with the F chord. Thumb on the root, F, first finger on the third, A, third finger on the fifth, C, and then to find the flat seven, look at the F, and then move down a whole step and play the E flat with your fifth finger. And for the G chord, we have our thumb on the root, G, first finger on the third, B, third finger on the fifth, D. And to find the flat 7, look at the G, and then down a whole step to F with your 5th finger. Now let's play the 12 bar blues in C using these 7th chords. 1, 2, 3, 4, C7. F7. C7. 
seven, F seven, C seven. There are other types of seventh chords that you may hear about, major seventh and minor seventh, to name two. But for this lesson, we'll stick with the C7, F7, and G7 chords that work well with the 12 bar blues. We've already learned how to play chords in different inversions, like the C chord in root position with the root on the bottom, first inversion with the third on the bottom, and second inversion with the fifth on the bottom. And remember, no matter what order you play the notes of a chord, it's still the same chord. When you play the notes of chords in different inversions and using different orders of notes from bottom to top, it's called a chord voicing. Let's look at a way to voice the seventh chords from the 12 bar blues that will give us a really classic sound when we play the song at the end of the lesson. First, with the left hand, we're going to play the root of each chord. Let's start with C using the fifth finger. Now with the right hand, we're going to play just two other notes of the chord, the third and the seventh. Play the third E with your thumb, and the seventh B flat with your fourth finger. Now let's voice the F chord in a similar way. F in the left hand with your second finger. Then with the right hand, play the third of the chord, A, with your fourth finger, and the seventh of the chord, E flat, with your thumb. So with the F chord voiced like this, we get this kind of sound. With the C7 chord and F7 chord voiced in this way, it's very easy to move back and forth between them. With the right hand, you just move between the two chords by moving your fingers down a half step, then back up a half step like this. Let's play back and forth between these two chords a few times using both hands. One, two, three, four, C, F7, C7, F7, C7, F7, C7. To voice a G chord like this, play G with your left hand thumb. Then with your right hand, the third of the chord, B, with your fourth finger, and the seventh, F, with your thumb. Now let's play the blues progression using these voicings for the chords. One, two, three, four, C7. F7. C7, G7, F7, C7. You can use these chord voicings or the simpler versions from the previous section when you play the song at the end of this lesson. When you play a solo, you can improvise a melody to create a spontaneous musical part. Soloing can be simple or elaborate, but no matter what, playing a solo is a great way to make a song unique and personal. When you play a solo over the 12 bar blues, you can use a scale called the pentatonic scale as a place to start for your solo ideas. The pentatonic scale is made up of the intervals minor third, whole step, whole step, minor third, whole step. It sounds like this. Any note in this scale will sound good when you play it with the C blues chord progression. Start on C, which is the root of the scale, then up a minor third, or a step and a half, to E flat, then up a whole step to F, another whole step again to G, and then up a minor third to B flat, and finish on C. Before we practice the pentatonic scale, let's look at a way to finger it. Start with your thumb on C, third finger on E flat, cross under with your thumb to F, second finger on G, fourth finger on B flat, 
and finishing with your fifth finger on C. Let's play this scale a few times up and down. You can play it in any octave. One, two, three, four. Another note that you can add to the pentatonic scale that will sound good with the blues is the sharp four, or in the key of C, F sharp. This note leads nicely up to the G, or down to the F. Now we'll use the notes from the pentatonic scale to play some solo ideas over the chords in the 12 bar blues progression. You can choose which of the notes you want to play and make up, or improvise, the rhythm that you want to play for your solo. I'll play a few examples of some solo ideas. Here's one that uses the first three notes of the scale. Here's another starting on the top of the scale. And here's one that uses the sharp four. Now, I'll play the chords, and you can improvise your own solo. You can imitate some of the ideas that I played, or play your own ideas. Use the cycle button, select the measures, and play along as many times as you like. Here we go. One, two, three, four. The pentatonic scale can help you pick notes for a solo that will work well with the blues. In the play song section of this lesson, the band will play the 12 bar blues progression over and over. If you want to play the song using chords, you can play either the simple root position voicing or the more advanced seventh chord voicing. Try different rhythms while you play. I'll be improvising some rhythms as well. Just listen to the band and play what you think sounds best. If you want to try soloing, keep the pentatonic scale in mind, and try some of your own ideas. I hope you had fun with this series of piano lessons. Once you've gone through all nine lessons, you'll be ready to play some new music, so be sure to check out the Lesson Store in GarageBand, where you'll be able to learn songs from some great musicians and songwriters.